All right, so we're going to have a go just, uh, with the drone. There's not much reception here. So what we intend doing, if the drone tells us we can, is we'll just shoot the drone straight up in the air, uh, spin it around and bring it down. We're not going to fly it across anywhere because it could just lose signal and we could lose it. But uh, we walked for, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes down there. And we weren't, in our opinion, getting any closer to any ocean or clearing where we could see ocean or whatever. So we turned around and walked back. And we didn't want to cut through the forest because right right near ocean water and that around here and in sand dunes and everything else, there's fucking death adders and, and all that. And they're the most poisonous snakes on planet Earth. So we're not cutting through the forest to find that uh, the water either. And then also once you're in the forest, it'll be about, okay, well, how do you know what direction you're walking and everything looks the same? as well could walk in circles or something anyway so look we've just come back we're going to put the drone up in the air and see just if, if we can to see what we can see and uh, i don't know but um yeah four-wheel drive we would have been able to burn down this road and uh possibly see some more find a clearing or something maybe but um we don't have that so uh we're limited by what we have but anyway we'll put the drone in the air that's that's that take if it'll go up that takes away some limits getting this sky in the sky view that's pretty awesome eat my shorts sam reversing because look at the side anything could happen there the car could sink into the straw and uh his car's very low and it could get caught and rip off his bumper or something so we're yeah which we have done before <laughs> we, yes we have I say we as if like <laughs> it, was, it was all me I fucked it so we were up at Imbul and it was just I might have told the story before but just misjudged a turn and the front part of the car went into a ditch and these days these cars are meant to it's all plastic so the rivets popped and the bumper just came right on off <laughs> which believe it or not once we got it out it took about three and a half hours and some local brought out a pickaxe and stuff we had to dig the ground to get it out <laughs> But um, we, we just zip tied the bumper and away we went. So it wasn't that it, the problem was that it pulled off. The problem was getting out of the ditch. Yeah, well, that was, I just filmed it. There it, it, it was a little ditch in there because the straw is covering it, but there's like ditches. Yeah. But he's very good at this reversing caper, as you've seen in other videos, like out at um, Conondale when we were down that long track and stuff. Shame we don't have a four-wheel man. So many of these trips, a four-wheel drive would resolve the issue, you know? Yeah, absolutely. See, look, the hard work that we put in to get content for you assholes. <laughs> I think every woman in Australia should kiss us on the snakey to thank us. <laughs> <laughs> for this wonderful footage. We just had a hawk attack our drone. Yeah, that was exciting. That's a kiss on the snake he deserved. What's that on the road? Probably horse poo. <laughs> yep. Huge poops horses do. We just discovered as we walked past lots of piles of poop. Once you disturb the, the chemical makeup of it, once you move it, it stinks. <laughs> so just to the left here, people, you'll see that clearing hand, that clearing of the trees. That's where you can easily get to the water, but it's on his property. And you've got to get through the barbed wire fence to get it. So he's sorted. He can get to the ocean whenever he wants, the creep. But he didn't think about us at all. He doesn't care about us one little bit. <laughs> Not one iota. So don't buy turf. Forfeit turf sales. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't deserve our sales, this creep. Lock us out from the ocean, will you? Will you? <laughs> All right, we are free. Goodbye, people. Through the sunroof. Hawks are flying. Where are they? <laughs> I 
There's two of them flying together, and in the distance, there's another two. This is, there's, there's just hawks everywhere. Sorry, I'm just getting blue sky now. How you bring it back to one to close to keep Shit. It no, I'm still getting nothing. Well, he's out that way, there's one there, and then I don't know where the other one is. Oh, fuck, it's pretty hard to film. <laughs> we'll get out of the car and see if that helps. Yeah, they're getting further away. Yeah, they, oh no, he's there. Ah, I think it's pretty shit footage. Fly back over here, you fucking wanker. Nah. Hopefully this nut won't fling a rock into your windscreen because he's driving so fast. What you're supposed to do, people, on a road like this is you see each other, you go as far to the left as humanly possible, and then you both slow right down. Otherwise, you risk flinging rocks at each other's windscreens. But we're now living in a day and age where no one gives a shit about anyone but themselves. Like this, that asshole. He was a total asshole. A butt wall, a butt hole, and a butt white. His face is for wiping butt with. Yeah, because it would have been us at windscreen O'Brien's or something having to fix this fucking thing while he's off on his merry way. Oh, 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 Brian. <laughs> what is this? It looks like a sort of a Star Wars yeah. thing. Yeah, so we're, this is still Beer Barham East and Red Road. I don't know why they call it red. I can't see the colour red any anywhere in anything. <laughs> Not even like a discarded lady diaper on the side of the road. <laughs> have seen have seen nothing. Red road. <clears throat> so I think yes, we're about to hit the bridge and that will cross the what's this thing called? The Bruce Highway? Okay. The Brucey! Bruce! Hello, Bruce. Is he finding Nemo? No. Does oh. <laughs> that, that say hello, Bruce? To them, yeah, no? he's at like a an anonymous meeting. I don't know if it's for. I think they're trying to tell him not to eat fish. Like, fish are friends, not food. He's like, my name's Bruce. And I'm like, hello, Bruce. Hey, hey. live right next to a chick chicken farm. I don't know how they do it. The reek is just... Yeah. Maybe you only live there if you are, have lost your sense of smell or something. Yeah. In a tragic accident. Maybe they're such, such poopy pants as they smell worse than the chickens. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. They can't smell anything past their own stink. Fucking poopy pants. This is so cool. I always wondered where this is because they hang banners off of it sometimes. Do they? Yeah, you know, like vegan protests or stop the darning or stuff like that. Before this bridge was completed, it was like a half bridge and used to have graffiti on the side, Evil Knievel Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> but look at the glasses. Yeah, that's an all right shot, isn't it? Fuck yeah, it is. Over there, that's... um. Near Beaver, what's that place called? It's Landsborough and then you drive up the hill a bit. Mount something. 
But yeah, Mount something it is. <laughs> Tam not tambourine. No, what the hell is it? I've got Melon, I think. What is with these pervs? I hate motorcyclists. They're pervs. If you, if you ride a motorcycle, I just think you're a perv. But what's good about these guys is they're sticking to the far left of the road. Why I don't like motorcyclists and refer to them as pervs is because, see the centre of the, the road here, they're normally road hogging over here, so you've got to, you know, we'd have to have put one car on the grass, one wheel on the grass here to the left, to not have a head on with them all because they want to ride in the middle of the road. Sorry, I'm hiccuping. Ride in the middle of the road for some reason. <clears throat> that mount in front of us, that's the one that's in the Endless Road video clip. Yeah. With the Time Bandits. And we're, so we're headed um, from the Bruce Highway, we've just crossed the Bruce Highway, we're head, headed down Red Road and we'll come out on the Steve Irwin Way. Is it called uh, Red Road? No, this is something else, isn't it? Is that right? No, it's, it's still Red Road. It's still Red Road, eh? <clears throat> He's funny, Norm Macdonald. Very funny. And a lot of people refer to him as one of the greats. Like, yeah, I'd call him one of the greats. I went on a spree last night. I must have spent about an hour just watching highlights and funny moments. And he's very funny. Yeah. I think my fave is Eddie Murphy and number two, Chris Rock. Oh, somewhere there's Bill Burr. Yeah, Bill Burr's excellent. Yeah, but I was like Norm Macdonald. I was thought of him as being up there with those cats. I like Adam Sandler. Not, not necessarily. I don't think I've ever really liked Adam Sandler's stand up. I just love his movies. Yeah. And, um, but that, the two kings of comedy in the 80s were Andrew Dice Clay and Eddie Murphy. They were actually filling stadiums like rock stars. And, uh, um, in Australia, the comedians were Rodney Roode and Kevin Bloody Wilson. And there was another guy, actually, George Samilovich. And then the, the guy everyone else liked is the... What's his name? The Wog, Wog Boy. Wog's out of work. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't think of his name offhand. All right, I'm signing out. Or, oh, actually, we may as well show them the Steve Irwin way, that we're getting on the Steve Irwin way. What is that Wog's out of works guy? Do you know, can you remember his name? No. He's made millions from comedy movies and stand up though yeah, yeah. Uh, and plays he puts on plays yeah, yeah. what well, wogs out of work that's one of them alright so this is that if you go straight ahead that takes you into Beer Barham that's the road we always go down to go to Caboolture left takes you to the Bruce Highway so you can go down to Brisbane and Caboolture well you, you go right you go all the way to Cairns if you wanted to <laughs> and now we're turning right on the St Steve Irwin Way we're going to head to Glasshouse then Beer over and out and don't forget poach my shorts yeah.